everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create here to share an album with you featuring Old Curiosity um, Shop from Graphic 45. So this is one of the first albums I put together um, using Graphic 45 paper. I think it was actually my introduction to, to the uh, company and their paper lines. Um, I really, I love this little album. I'm kind of proud of it. So I hope you guys enjoy my walkthrough. All the paper is available at our shop. And if you just look below, there'll, there'll be a link here in the YouTube video to take you directly to the store. Um, this uh, mini album was put together with the um, Old Curiosity Shop DCE collection. So everything you see in this book is part of the DCE. Okay, so I'm gonna start on the cover. I add a little bit of um, uh, seam binding here just to add some texture. I've used fussy cutting and, um, and some of the pre-cut pieces extensively throughout the uh, album, um, which give it so much interest. The shine that you see on top here is, um, is glossy uh, accents layered directly on top of some fussy cut items to give it that glass look, which I really like. And I also did it on the butterfly. So it's pretty, pretty cool. The whole thing, um, it doesn't come across quite as well as I'd like in the video, but it's quite layered and stacked and it's very interesting to look at. Okay, so inside the first page, um, you'll see a piece of ephemera, which is part of the collection, and we've added um, these filigree pieces, which are available in our shop as well. I just think they go great with anything that's kind of steampunk or this very antique looking um, paper. Nice, simple, flat page. The whole album is, um, is actually one of Graphic 45 staples. It's a pre-made mini album, so that made this go together really quickly. I just had to layer my um, color choices and pattern choices right on top of their pre-existing book. This album um, was also featured in a previous video um, where I walked through the uh, Nature Sketchbook. So it's the same uh, album, obviously different paper. Um, fussy cut some uh, moths here to add some interest. Here's another simple fussy cut of a word that was part of the package. Another word in butterfly. Here is um, a pre-cut uh, element from the Cut Apart page. This is kind of interesting. It's very steampunkish to me, um, but I, I really like it. It took me a while to figure out what it was, but it basically looks like an owl to me, but the eyeballs are made out of sunflowers. One of my favorite pages, just because the color is so, so rich. So again, it's very uh, similar to the book that I had done a walkthrough on Nature Sketchbook. So it has a flat panel a, a pocket and that is encased in another flat panel and that kind of makes up the first register in the book and there's six of these so there is a ton of space for photos um, here is another uh, cut apart uh, that I layered in here lots of uh, elements like this to use throughout and then a piece of filigree up here at the top which I really like this is a um, fussy cut butterfly with uh, a nice layered um, cut apart Love these, love these colors. Uh, another cut apart, interesting paper. Um, over here, I've got that pocket. This is a, um, a popped up uh, element. So it, it sits on top, it, it doesn't uh, open, but it just sits on top and gives it some texture. A nice photo mat or journaling card. And then I got When Pigs Fly. So this piece is a part of the ephemera packet, and then I just went ahead and fussy cut it to have a little slide here, just because it made it a little more interesting. And then behind it is a pocket. Two fussy cut butterflies. I spent a lot of time fussy cutting butterflies. This package comes with two 12 by 12 pa uh, pages of various sized butterflies, so there's a lot to work with. Um, this is a uh, one of the die cut pieces. So I really liked it and then I wanted to make it a little more interesting. So I went and cut around the edges of each one of the butterflies, leaving the body intact and then put pop dots behind it. So you get this kind of layered um, look and that the butterfly wings always look like they're slightly elevated. So it's pretty interesting. This is a, a belly band basically. So you can slide something in there. And then over here, I added um, just a inset, a small little journaling page. And this is just a, black seam binding that I used to uh, to close it. A nice mat, another fussy cut butterfly. I love the butterflies, they're everywhere. And this, um, this dragonfly is one of my favorites as well. 
So, and this is another pocket. Okay, another pocket page. This is uh, ephemera, a layered chipboard, fussy cut butterfly. And again, I always try to glue the body down and then I'll take a pop dot, cut it in half and put it on either side so that it always sits in a slight, uh, slight V. So the wings are um, a little bit more obvious. Same thing here. This is actually a little place to tuck something. I made a little journaling space right down here. Um, chipboard little pocket. This is actually uh, one of the cover pages and I just fussy cut an element out of it to um, to hold a tag. Okay, next page. Um, uh, cut apart here and then I added um, uh, magnets that close up a small journaling space here. So I kind of love this. It's pretty. And then a simple page here just popped up an image. Again, fussy cut. Here, um, it's a very simple page, but I like the color combination. And then I took a little bit of the um, that uh, shiny glue that kind of gives that glass image, glossy accents, and, and made the eyeball really pop out. Doesn't really come across so much in the video, but it's very obvious in person. Here, I created kind of a unique tab. This was just a swirl as part of one of the other designs. I cut it apart, uh, popped a hole in it, doubled it with um, some black paper in the back so it's rigid, and that becomes my swing tab for this journal page. And then again, I popped the butterflies as usual. And here, I've got room to stash something, um, and this is kind of a layered look too. Um, as you can see, there's not a whole lot of repeats in terms of the ephemera that I'm using throughout the book, so there's a ton to work with. It's a really fun package to work with. Postcard, which is uh, ephemera, and oops, I guess I didn't quite get the back finish, but this should be a journaling space and a photo. Here is my When Pigs Fly page. Um, this green is so pretty. I don't think I had enough to go around. I would have used more if I had it. And this is just layered here, and then there's room for a pocket or a, a tag. Okay, another uh, pre cut ephemera postcard. Um, and this is just a sticker that I've layered right on top. This is a sticker, and this is a sticker, which are nice. The, the texture is slightly smoother, um, and I really liked them. This is um, one of the uh, pre cut um, or die cut. Uh, pieces and to give it a little more interest I went in with the glossy accents covered each one of the eggs to give it a dimension as well as some shine dimension and shine over here same thing glossy accents and I topped the whole thing off with a piece of filigree another space for journaling and then here's a pocket there's that Lovely paisley, I love it so much. Um, another uh, use of glossy accents here down on the eyeballs. I just love the way that makes the uh, glasses actually look like there's a lens in them. And then here is a beautiful popped uh, pre-cut apart um, that comes in the die cut page, which is just lovely. Um, I left the whole thing intact, but if I was using this um, and was uh, putting photos in it, I'd be very tempted to cut my photo down to this size and then use this as the frame. And they've done that with several of the, um, the die cuts and, and cut aparts. Easy to just lay your photo right over this. So here's a placeholder. When you're ready to put a photo in, you lay it right on top. Another um, ephemera cut apart. And lastly, this beautiful uh, butterfly, and that is the back. And then as you can see, I um, also did a spine cover, and then um, this is one of the, uh, the cutter parts, which was a little difficult, but if you uh, cut it just right and then you spend a little time wiggling it, you can slip it right in there. Um, beautiful Graphic 45 Old Curiosity Shop. Again, like I said, this is one of the first albums I made. In fact, I think it was the introduction to Graphic 45, the uh, first time I had used their paper. So this was a ton of fun to put together especially if you're a detail person there's so many little elements to work with so i hope you enjoyed this walkthrough if you go to www.scrapandcreate.com you will find this package in the dce um, 
thank you for watching.